Hello YouTube, and today I'd like to give my heartfelt greetings of Eid to everyone. So Eid Mubarak to the whole world! And uh, for those of you who do not know what Eid is, Eid is basically the day Muslims believe that Abraham, as a test, was ordered to slaughter his son, but from the mercy of God, he was ordered to slaughter a goat instead. And this is what signifies the end of Hajj, where all the pilgrims from the annual immigration of Hajj slaughtered goats as sacrifices to God. For those of us who do not go to pilgrimage, we stay back at home and wake up in the mornings wearing our brand new clothes and go off to prayer. The biggest prayer of the year, Eid prayer. And clearly you can see I'm sporting my uh, dashing new clothes. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. Check it out. Sorry, I guess I took it too far, but you see, I, I, like, I like new clothes. But the new clothes are just only part of Eid. Right after prayer, we start the day off by pretty much greeting and hugging every single person we meet along the way. Whether you know them or you're not, that's just the way it is. In fact, in Eid, we have this special kind of hug that I call kolakuli. Sounds very weird, but uh, it's actually pretty romantic. And um, I can demonstrate it to you right here with one of my... Uh, uh, volunteers. Alright, so two of my teddy bears, Fred and the uh, other teddy bear I don't really name, are going to hug me in the kolakali fashion and I'm going to say Eid Mubarak to each and one of them just like I'll do to any other person. So just watch and see me demonstrate, alright? I'm going to walk in front of the camera. Eid Mubarak! Salam alaikum, Eid Mubarak! Good to see you! That's how it's done. And obviously, if you know that person, you talk more. But if you don't know him, just do that and you're done. That is how the romance grows. There you go. And after all the romantic hugging and everything and meeting people, we leave the prayer hall and then we go to people's houses. And on the day of Eid, most of the Muslims' homes are open. Doors are open, anybody can come in, eat food, converse with friends. It's a day of happiness and joy. And just like any other day is, but this day, everyone's doors are open and most of all, you get free food. But of course, the food is kind of, you know, if you eat too much of it every single day, you're gonna probably die of a heart attack, because the food is absolutely artery-cloggingly greasy, but it's awesome to eat. Actually, right now, um, as you, you noticed, as the video is moving on, it's getting darker and darker outside, because uh, uh, it's the sun setting. But this whole afternoon, I've had people over at my place, and now, just as the sun sets, I'm about to go to people's, other people's homes. And uh, that's the way it is. Usually some guy hosts, people go there, and the host moves on, and everybody does too. And it doesn't end here. Of course, today is slowly coming to an end, and all the fun and everything is going to have to stop at some point. But there's one thing that's also very important, and that is the sacrifice of a goat here, uh, by us, even though we're not pilgrims. Tomorrow, uh, we plan to go to a farm and take a goat and ritually slaughter it and then we're going to distribute the meat among the poor people and our friends. Similarly, in Bangladesh, we also uh, paid for a goat for our grandparents to slaughter over there, and they're going to distribute the meat accordingly among the people around their neighborhood and so on. Basically, Eid does not only signify having fun with your friends and family, but it's also about equality. The sacrificing of a goat signifies obedience for God, but as well as spreading equality amongst all. This meat will be distributed amongst the poor people, and we as Muslims strongly believe that both the poor and the rich 
should have equal footing in society. And uh, well, this is not communism. This is just the fact that the poor people should have welfare so that they can live, survive, have shelter, these basic rights to live. Anyways, uh, this is all I wanted to talk to you guys about. And uh, if you see anybody today or tomorrow, uh, don't even hesitate to give them an Eid Mubarak hug or the Kolakali hug, which I demonstrated to you earlier in this video. Anyways, as you can clearly tell, it's much darker now than it was at the beginning of the video. Uh, so I better get going. I'm going to go to a couple of more friends' homes this night. And uh, I'm, I'm very certain that this Eid will be one that I can remember, just like every other Eid that I've had so far. And uh, I'd like to wish you guys a heartfelt Eid Mubarak to every one of you guys.